Caps Own Project was to create an online version of the CSUMB Service Learning Institute Community Partner Orientation. I will discuss the major components within this capstone as well as show you the design and functionality <coughs> of the final prototype that was created in Adobe's Captivate set. I identified <coughs> three problematic issues regarding the SLI community partner orientation. First, attendees taking too much information all at once. Second, participants may have time constraints or have issues with being able to attend. Third, in terms of content, community partners and service learning students have reported various levels of confusion. The purpose of the on-campus SLI community partner orientation is to address the responsibilities of community partners. If community partners misinterpret their responsibilities, the, intended, the anticipated outcome of the partnership will not seem like a meaningful learning experience for service learning students. The target audience is new, current, and returning community partners. There are currently 438 community partners across six states, ranging from nonprofit organizations, schools, governmental agencies, and community-based agencies across the Tri-County area. These organizations vary in staff population, demographics, day-to-day -day functionality, organization requirements, restrictions, and goals. Designing and developing the community partner orientation into an effective and efficient e-learning module was a solution to the three issues stated earlier. For example, within the module, there are four parts or sections that cover major topics of concern. The first section distinguishes service learning from volunteerism. The second section provides resources for service learning students and building relationships with faculty. The third section focuses on the orientation and training of service learners. And the fourth <coughs> section shows community partners how to work with service learners to create a learning agreement. Overall, new, current, and returning community partners can <coughs> revisit the online community partner orientation to clarify their responsibilities, requirements, expectations, and procedures. Because this module aims to reflect an orientation, I chose, aims to reflect the characteristics of an orientation, I chose to implement the scenario-based e-learning model. This model originated from Roger Shank's goal-based scenario model. Scenario-based e-learning essentially immerses the learners in real life or situational simulations or learning experiences that allow them to gather skills or information for future use. The core characteristics related to this model are realism, learner-centric, applied learning strategies, and interactivity. Scenario-based e-learning improves engagement and understanding by motivating the learners, allowing the learners to directly see the rewards, and it challenges the learners without <coughs> overwhelming their mental capacity. I completed this project by consulting and networking with a service learning subject matter expert, constructing and utilizing the storyboard, and creating and utilizing the timeline, designing and testing the prototype in sections, and conducting a usability test, which combined both the formative and summative evaluations together. This project provides instructional guidelines and knowledge for SLI community partners and shows them how the partnership is connected to service learning faculty, service learning students, and other community partners. Upon completion of the module, community partners should gain a better understanding of their responsibilities. Also, they will be able to download a summary of the community partner orientation, along with other important documents directly related to the partnership. The major challenge within this capstone project was establishing and working with a new subject matter expert within the middle of the prototype's production. The areas of concern were reorganization, content recreation, the overall design, 
and testing the functionality of the module. Ultimately, time and self-determination were key components to the success and completion of the final prototype. Six subjects were used in the usability test, which were SLI faculty and staff. Three forms were used to ensure proper feedback and data collection. The forms used within the usability testing are as follows. One, a pre-test, post-test. Two, a prototype evaluation. And three, a survey. The subjects answered the two questionnaires as well as provided additional qualitative data on the survey. Additional editing and interactions were implemented from the feedback. After careful review from the data collected, my results concluded that this e-learning module is an effective and efficient e-learning tool that could be used in place of the on-campus community partner orientation. Now, let me briefly show you the design and development of the, the final prototype. As community partners access the link, they will see that the prototype has a table of contents as well as a start button within the title slide. I chose to use, for narration, I chose to use a female voice instead of a male voice because the personalization principle states that men and women prefer a woman's voice for subjects related to human relationships. I also reinforced the narration by using text and bullet points throughout the module. This method, this method is known as the redundancy principle. For example, if someone prefers not to hear the narration, they can simply mute the, the volume icon and still observe key information. The entire module has a simple button to progress from slide to slide. From, the entire module has a sim simple button that allows the user to progress from slide to slide, which is a service learning institute <coughs> logo located at the top of the module. And if a community partner wants to go back or forward, they can utilize the play bar located at the bottom of the module, which is located here. Here's an example of a scenario-based interaction. So first, a community partner will read the question and choose from a set of four answers. If the community partner gets the answer wrong, they, they're, they, if the community partner gets the answer wrong, feedback is given that eventually leads the community partner to the right answer. Ultimately, the goal for community partners is for them to view each section and module, view each section of the module, answer the scenario-based questions correctly, and after completion of the module, they are directed to a web page that allows them to download the summary of the community partner orientation and other important documents. This module is anticipated to be uploaded and linked to the service learning website, but as of now, it is currently still being evaluated by the Service Learning Institute.
Turner Gates the method yeah. for a first. And, and basically that's the solution is, is that you know, maybe somebody in the Tri-County area lives very far away. Yeah. That's still a community partner. Maybe they, have, they, they, maybe they have to travel over an hour and a half 